really hope I have enough space on my computer for this because if not, then I'm gonna have to do another video with my makeup completely done doing this. So hi everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Kira if you are new here and this is my little corner here on YouTube. So I do try to have different content for everybody here. So I hope you find something that you enjoy and you hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into it. So I am filming the first episode of a new series I'm starting here on my channel called Tease, Dramas, and Scandals. This is episode one and we are going to be deep diving and talking about the many, 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 many scandals of Joe Deer and Lime Crime Cosmetics because I hate Lime Crime Cosmetics. I don't own anything from Lime Crime Cosmetics. If I actually do, it's probably like a lip product. It's probably one thing and I definitely got it in a BoxyCharm. I don't support Lime Crime Cosmetics even if Doe Deer is not a part of it anymore and we are going to be going through all the pages in my journal a couple pages of research but while we're doing that I'm gonna be doing my makeup and we're just gonna be talking and all of this is basically my personal opinion I literally like have multiple pages on these scandals like no joke and also even though Doe Deer is not a part of the cosmetics company anymore this, these different scandals and how the company itself also handled it are the reasons why I will not continue to support the brand even though I never really did but in this is all my personal opinion also but anyways let's get into it so we of course of course of course of course have to start with the infamous Nazi photo so if you do not know Doe Deer actually dressed up in I believe 2007 as Adolf Hitler for Halloween and her reasoning at the time when she was called out for it because think about it it was like back in 2007 um her reasoning was that she wanted to see how much she could get away with and it's kind of like that in itself is narcissist, which that word will come up a lot in my research and in my notes and in my pages. So keep that in mind. Narcissist. That is a serious, serious, serious sign of a narcissist. Is pretty much like thinking you can get away with whatever you want and not really taking accountability of it. So another thing I wanted to talk about with the infamous... Nazi photo is she actually has come out with a YouTube video and it's discussing it's literally called I dressed up as a Nazi let's talk about it or something like that because she said that something like life-changing happened in her life and she wanted to discuss it I have not watched this video and I actually have not heard any other youtubers talk about this video which makes me kind of wonder how well received it was I personally have not watched it because I just all the other scandals of doe deer and lime crime I just choose not to associate myself or my channel with lime crime cosmetics and doe deer but basically when I was looking at it I didn't again I didn't watch it but just going off of like the title and stuff like that and everything else that she's done in her life it's kind of made me get the feeling of I made a mistake I didn't learn from it but you should forgive me and get over it pretty much that's the vibe I personally got which is why I chose not to watch the video because I'm very much big on first impressions but another thing is that she calls it a Nazi costume, and it's not a Nazi costume. Literally dressed up as Hitler, dude. Like, you dressed up as Hitler. Just, and, like, this, like, I don't care what day and age you did this. I don't feel like any day and age, even if it is 2007, I don't feel like it should be acceptable at all. No matter what, because there's another scandal in here we'll talk about with, like, cultural appropriation and stuff. And, basically, my personal opinion on it is very much a narcissist. And 
basically, I, basically, I think that she did it thinking, oh, cool, I came up with this awesome brand. It's so big, and you just have to respect me and understand that I can do what I want because I made this great brand. And it's like, no, no, because no matter how good your cosmetics are, you can't do stuff like that. It's just heartbreaking to think about what the Nazis and Hitler did, which please, for the love of God, I hope people watching this know about World War II, but in case you didn't, uh, Adolf Hitler is not a good person. Um, he almost eradicated an entire population of Jewish people and basically wanted this like master race, which I'll never understand people that feel that way. We are all different and beautiful in our own way. Why can't we just continue to let, you know, express ourselves and be beautiful? Which is why I love makeup so much. Express yourself and do different stuff. Like, I'm doing a pretty different look today. I'm using Wet n Wild's Moon Child, I think is what this shadow is called, with a peachy palette. Like... I'm just having fun, and I literally have four Jeffree Star Cosmetics orders on the way. One of them does have the premium Halloween mystery box in it. Super excited to get that to unbox. But I'm also super excited to be taking some time off from YouTube, taking some time off from filming to mentally heal, let my skin heal, and allow research for this new series that I'm really, really putting a lot of time and effort into. And in case you guys are wondering, I can also link all the videos down below that inspired this series and helped me research um, this, this topic. But basically, like, her apology video, um, I'm going to, it's going to come across in some other episodes of this series. But I'm not Jewish, so it's not my apology to accept. You know, if you are Jewish and you have accepted her apology, like, okay, cool. Like, that's awesome for you. But for me personally, it's not just about the Nazi thing. It's everything else that we're going to be discussing in this video that she did. And let's go ahead and get into it. The next controversy I have wrote down is the China doll incident, which... Mm. Um, so basically Lime Crime came out with a small five pan eyeshadow palette and they named it China Doll and it was inspired by China, I think, I don't really know, um, I'm very confused on it because it seemed like it was inspired by China and China Gardens and stuff like that, but then when she got called out for the controversy, which we'll talk about, she was like, it wasn't inspired by China. It wasn't meant to represent China. It's like, you can't have it both ways. You can't have it, have a palette come out and say, this was inspired by China. But then if you do something wrong in said controversy, say, oh, it wasn't inspired by China. So what everyone took issue with was that the model for the China Doll palette for Lime Crime was actually a white girl, which that kind of does sound a little racist, me saying that, but it's not meant to be racist. But she was white, and they used the makeup to make her kind of like look Asian, but then like you could tell like she wasn't white. Or that she wasn't white, that she wasn't Asian, she was white. And So Dear, I guess, like, had, like, some type of, like, website blog thingy. And she gave herself a bunch of different questions to ask, um, to answer uh, regarding China Doll, which I don't really, I don't really take that as an apology. She kind of just, like, diverted it and said pretty much, like, What's really cultural appropriation and stuff? And uh, I'm a makeup artist, not a historian. 
But if you know the history of Lime Crime, then you would also know that Lime Crime wasn't originally a makeup company. It was actually a clothing company that then became a makeup company. But aside from that, I kind of, like, okay, so Illuminati, um, her video on this will be linked down below. But... Before I finish that, she actually does go in and talk about the answers and the questions Doe Deer gave herself. And um, that's all I've ever seen of like the answers that Doe Deer said about this uh, particular scandal. And basically, I think it's bullshit because she didn't actually take questions and concerns that actually her customers or paying customers were having for said China doll scandal. She just answered whatever she wanted to answer pretty much. And as a makeup company, a business brand owner, you can't do that. It's just like you can't do that. And it's like the issue I have is that like China is beautiful, you guys. Like Chinese culture is so beautiful. My mother loves Chinese food. When I was pregnant with Kai, I loved Chinese food, and I still do. And I love hibachi, too. I like Japanese. Like, it's good. It's Food is good. It's good to eat. So the question I have for Lime Crime and Doe Deer is, if China Doll was meant to be this beautiful representation of China, which it was until it backfired on you, why not just use a beautiful Asian model and, like, have cultural appropriation and promote the beauty of China and the beauty of Asian beauty just in general? Because we all know that K-beauty, Asian beauty, we all know how big of a craze it is now. Like, why not just promote at the time, have a Chinese model? Because at the time, their white model that they had, they said that they liked working with her features. And it's like, okay... But why didn't she just work with an Asian model's features? Because they're just as beautiful. Alright, so that is the end of the China Doll scandal, but we are not done. Oh, of course not, because it's fine crime. We have next, Tim Talia scandal. So, back in the day before YouTube was as big as it was and we had beauty vloggers, we had beauty bloggers with a B. And one of the biggest ones at the time, and I still believe to this day she is a pretty big beauty blogger, was Tim Talia. And Tim Talia actually gave a review on some Lime Crime Cosmetics lipsticks, and they were fairly negative. And she just did not have a good experience with it. She said that the callers didn't speak to her. Which, I mean, okay, cool. Like, makeup is makeup. Everybody is allowed to have their own opinions. That's what makes makeup beautiful, is that everybody has different experiences with said cosmetics. And what I like, you might not like. Like, I'm currently using this Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Translucent Powder to set my under eyes. You may not like that. That is okay. I find it works perfect for my skin and really sets my concealer. Because I have not been setting my face lately. But anyways, the situation with Tim Talia is that the owner of Lime Crime Cosmetics, who really, really, really tarnished the company, Doe Deer, which is not her real name, by the way. I don't know her real name. But Doe Deer actually got Tim Talia's personal email address and sent it out to loyal customers of Lime Crime Cosmetics and asked Lime Crime Cosmetics customers to email Tim Talia and tell Tim Talia how great their lipsticks are. And Tim Talia has actually been very open and vocal about how it was very like pack mentality, cult mentality type thing. Like she was actually bullied for it and that's not okay because you are allowed to like what you do and like what you don't like like what you like and don't like what you don't like like everybody is allowed their own opinion and apparently there were many beauty bloggers back in the day who this happened to because of lime crime and were bullied into taking down their reviews 
But if you go back to Tim Talia's review, I'm pretty sure that the only reason she didn't enjoy the lipsticks were because she didn't enjoy the colors of the lipsticks and just said that they weren't for speed. Okay, big deal. But the thing is, is that as an owner of a company, shouldn't Dodeer have reached out to Tim Talia and said, I'm so sorry you had such a poor experience. Can you please tell me, like, why you had this poor experience? Can we please have a personal conversation, me and you, and you can explain to me what happened, and I can attempt to make these to, I can attempt to rationalize, well not rationalize, I can attempt to make this product better with your input so that everybody can have a seemingly good experience with my products. Because at the end of, at the end of the day, we, the consumers, are purchasing and spending our hard-earned money on your products you should want to put out the best but as a company owner like you should only want to put out the best you shouldn't send your little followers to attack somebody who just doesn't like your color scheme because one of the biggest things about lime crime cosmetics is the fact that they had the different colors but i mean nowadays you can just get different colors from so many brands it's kind of like who cares at this point so many brands do it the next scandal we have with Lime Crime Cosmetics, of course, is the FDA ingredient scandal. So apparently in 2015, I think it was July 2015, the FDA sent out a notification, a regulation letter of violation thingy to Lime Crime, stating that they had two, like, unsafe ingredients i'm still a little iffy on that because i'm not a like I, I failed science i'm not gonna lie but aside from that they had two unsafe ingredients they had a ferric ferric acid i think's what it was and ultramarines and it was mislabeled on the box is what lime crime lime crime's excuse was however this is my personal opinion and that personal opinion is, I think Dodier totally knew what was in her her lipsticks and that it wasn't safe or whatever for her customers and just didn't care. She just wanted to make money. And honestly, I really think that Dodier is a narcissist, to be completely honest. And I think that the FDA, the China doll, the Hitler thing... And the Tentalia scandal all really show that. Show why I choose not to support Lime Crime Cosmetics. Even if Doe Deer is not there no more. Plus their cosmetics just don't speak to me. The way my current favorite brand, which is honestly Jeffree Star Cosmetics, is my current favorite makeup brand right now. I love everything he's putting out. I have so much of it. That's why I've spent so much money. But anyways, I I think that they that she just wanted to make profit on that and unfortunately didn't really care about her customers' safety, their health, or anything about it really. And she was just like, I just want to make money. And when was such a big narcissist, didn't really think that she would get caught. And when she did get caught by the FDA, they had to come up with an excuse and said it was a mislabel on the box, which I do not think it was a mislabel, a misprint. I 100% am on the side of they knew for sure. Honestly, in regards to said situation, I think that Doe Deer just does not think that she could get in trouble for any of this stuff because she's like, I created this amazing makeup brand. And it's like, no, you didn't. But aside from that, she just doesn't fathom getting into trouble and getting into scandals and understanding the power of a scandal nowadays. Well, not nowadays, but, you know, back then. Because this happened actually in 2015. So, yeah, we had scandals. Right, you guys, you ready for the last big scandal I really could find on Lime Crime Cosmetics? I saved the best for last, and that is 
the hacking of Lime Crime Cosmetics website. Again, I feel that this is a Dodir is a narcissist because how the hackers were able to hack Lime Crime's Cosmetics website was due to an outdated SSL certificate, which if you are a brand owner, and I've heard people say this about Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill, then you should know to hire the right people for this stuff to know that this doesn't happen. But the bigger issue is that instead of privately emailing all of her customers, Doe Deer decided to make a statement on Instagram stating that they had gotten hacked, which again, surely would not include every customer that they ever had. So I, in my research, found that a lot of the customers didn't actually find out about the hacking until they got their bank statements back from their bank stating that they had been victims of identity theft, pretty much. Because you know what you buy. So... From what I could see, there was a settlement reached by Lime Crime Cosmetics, but from what I found, it wasn't, like, the greatest. Like, a lot of people did suffer. Which is why I don't really like shopping online unless I'm using my PayPal or something like that where I have a, another company keeping my stuff private. But anyways, that is Lime Crime Cosmetics' scandals all summed up into a 20 minute video while I did my makeup. So this has been Tease Dramas and Scandals, Episode 1, Lime Crime Cosmetics, and Doe Deers episode. And very informative. Personally, I think Doe Deer is a narcissist. I still will not support Lime Crime, Lime Crime Cosmetics. Nothing that they ever have had has ever really spoken to me. Again, if I want color, I just go to Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So anyways, and I don't feel safe putting my card on their website to be completely honest just because of stuff like that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video personally if this was to happen today I don't think that this company would survive if you want me to be completely honest that is this has all been my personal opinion I hope you guys enjoyed please like comment subscribe and ring that bell I'll see you in the next one bye guys